These are the seven things you should know if you're looking to buy property in the next three months as a first home buyer or investor. Again, this is not financial advice, and let's begin with the seven things. Number one, as of June 22, Australian residential property is worth $9.95 trillion. In terms of overall residential lending, we've only borrowed $2.1 trillion against $9.95 trillion. So the loan to value ratio is only 21%. This gives a lot of comfort to a lot of investors to show you we're still at very safe levels to weather the storm if the property crashes or a recession comes like those doomsayers are saying because there's a lot of equity to weather the storm, especially the increase in interest rates. And at the moment, as of June 2022, overall the Australian property value has increased by 11.2%. And while regionally, the market has increased by 19.9%. And this is due to COVID pandemic living. A lot of people are preferring bigger places. A lot of people have been moving to farms. A lot of people are working from home. And on capital cities combined, they've increased by 8.7%. This is the map of the increases in the last 12 months. Take a snapshot of your one. And in the last three months since the rate rise, overall Australia has lost its value by 0.2%. Regionally, it's still pretty good. It's still increasing by 2%. And capital cities, overall, 0.8%. That's not really much of a crash, is it? Those dumbass doomsayers, eh, it's crashing. This shows you the correction in the last three months due to the RBA rate rise. This is an honorable mention to Adelaide. Adelaide in June has rose by 1.3% in market value in property. And in the past year, they've increased by 25.7%. So for investors out there, it might be a good thing to look at Adelaide, especially with the prices being quite affordable. It makes a really good investment strategy with good rental yield. Again, not financial advice. Now I lost track whether that was point two and three, but who cares, I'll just keep going. Now point three, we're moving into a buyer's market. This means on a national level, the properties are taking longer to sell. Back in 2021, June, it took 24 days to sell a property. Now it's taken 30. Regionally, 27 before, now it's 34 days. And for capital cities, before it was 23, now it's 28 days. And contrasting to what the media says, the median vendor discounts given to properties overall since May 2022 was only 3.5%, while last year was minus 2.9%. So this means sellers are actually not dropping the pants due to the whole doom and gloom going around there. They're simply giving up to a minus 3.5% discount on their property. And to take a sample of listings, Capturing data for four weeks up to July 3rd, approximately 37,000 listings were listed and compared to last year, it was a change of minus 1.7%. What this means is there's a decrease in listings, which means sellers are holding back from selling, which means there is no distress in sellers. A good thing for investors, we're experiencing a rental crisis. On average since last year, rent has increased by 9.5%. I think that was seven things. What's your thoughts?